Hey everyone, here we are on to the next module. In this particular module, we're going to be looking at a 1939 film. The film is called Stagecoach. So Stagecoach is directed or was directed by um, a pretty famous director. His name is John Ford. Um, this was kind of a critically acclaimed film at the time. It was nominated for Best Director, Best Picture, Best Cinematography, Best Editing, and Best Music in the Academy Awards of that year. Um, the themes that it covers or the themes that it kind of discusses throughout the film would be um, revenge, redemption, community, and sacrifice. So when you're watching the film, it's not like you're going to... Again, we talk about themes a little bit in the class and we keep kind of mentioning these themes in the modules. We're not looking at this kind of overt conversations between characters that are going to be talking about revenge, redemption, community, sacrifice. What we're looking at is kind of the underlying kind of undertones to what the movie's about, what specific scenes are about, what is the director trying to say about um, sacrifice in this movie. So you might see sacrifice within a certain character's kind of arc. So look for things like that. See if you can pull out where these themes um, come into play when, it, when we're talking about this particular story. Um, the synopsis of this film, it's a group, uh, a group is forced together on a stagecoach in the 1880s. We have an alcoholic, direct, or an alcoholic doctor, a lady of ill repute, a timid liquor salesman, a shifty gambler, and a corrupt banker are among the travelers who must contend with an escaped outlaw named Ringo Kid. Okay? And the ever-present threat of Apache attacks as they make their way across the Wild West. So that's what we're dealing with in this particular um, film. The genre, this is a classic um, American Western. Um, again, the American Western or the Western in general is pretty unique to American filmmaking up to this point. Um, when you get to the, you know, 60s we start seeing a film called uh, uh, a type of film or a genre called the spaghetti western that becomes pos or, uh, popular but in the 1930s and going into the 40s it's a pretty american thing um things we're looking for so characters are all stereotypes all right so we have a prostitute with a heart of gold so look for that corrupt banker a criminal hero so this is kind of an anti-hero type person um, an Apache portrayed as a savage. Okay, so these are all very stereotypical, not politically correct necessarily, um, portray portrayals of different characters. Okay, so you have to understand this is again a 1939 film. So um, we've come a long way when it comes to how we um, portray um, different ethnicities, different cultures on screen. Um, Again, for current reference, so again, we're going to look at an Apache um, person, indigenous person portrayed as a savage on screen. And then if you go to the 2023 film that's currently up in the awards season right now, which is uh, Killer of the Flower Moon, um, we have a much more um, respectful way of portraying indigenous people in the United States in that particular film. Okay. And if you want something kind of in the middle, which is kind of interesting, I think it's a 1970s movie. It's called Little Big Man with Dustin Hoffman, if you want to check that out on your own. Um, the hypocrisy of a respectable pillar of society. So that's one of the things that you want to look for as you're watching the film. Like the corrupt, the banker, that's supposed to be this upstanding person. He's respected in the society, but it's not, he's not a very um, respectable person. So kind of look for elements like that as you watch the film. Um, another idea or kind of uh, um, thing to kind of see as it plays out in the story is the claustrophobic stagecoach in contrast to the wide, wide expansion of the Western desert. Right, so you have this big open area, um, but these folks are going to be stuck in this claustrophobic um, stagecoach that they can't really escape or get out of. And so there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this kind of claustrophobic, claustrophobic space. Right, so it's kind of an interesting tension-filled kind of way to um, stage a movie. Um, the travelers are all leaving the corruption of the city for what? Okay, so let's see if you can answer that question. These, all these people are leaving the big city and they're all traveling to the Wild West to this new big um, um, 
area that's kind of full of prosperity and stuff stuff like that so kind of figure out see if you can see what it is that why they're leaving and what they're heading into um they're all from different social classes and have personality clashes along the way um you know even today we're making films about um social classes and socio-economical kind of disparities and things like that you can go back just a few years and there was a fantastic film that dealt with uh, social classes and um, economic disparity uh, it's a Korean film called Parasite okay so we have these different folks from different social classes and they have these personality clashes um, but something brings them all together so see if you can kind of figure out what it is that brought them all together and then another thing to look for is kind of the nonverbal communication, right? So way back early on in cinema history, and we saw some of this, um, you s we had films that were made without sound. So the nonverbal communication was the only thing going on. Um, but then sound became a, a thing, and it became a lot easier to communicate, at least in the way that we're kind of used to. And so we saw that a little bit of that kind of go away. But now we're kind of bringing back in that nonverbal communication as a little, um, it's just another way to kind of get information across to the audience. And in this film, they use it really well. So these are some things you want to look at. So you have the gambler, which is Hatfield, and the pregnant woman, Miss Mallory. Um, and you have this kind of interaction through a window. Look at that interaction and kind of see if you can figure out what the nonverbal communication is in that particular moment. And another one, you have Ringo and Dallas looking at each other as Dallas holds the baby. Okay, so look at those um, that little interaction and kind of see if you can um, pull out what the communication is that's going on there that really isn't being said in the open. All right. So, again, pretty interesting film. It's a genre we haven't looked at before. Again, it's a very unique to America kind of genre um, until we get to the spaghetti western in the 60s. Um, John Wayne is a classic American kind of western superstar, um, Hollywood star. So you get to see one of his pictures and John Ford, fantastic director of his time. So hopefully you enjoy the film. And if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.